DJ Fresh uh, there, Dizzy Rascal. Joining us here, Mr. Richie Hardcore. Hey, brother. How are you? Good to see you. Good, man. How are you? I'm really good. It's been a beautiful weekend. You know, I like, like that. Mother's Day, hanging out with moms. Yeah. And I made a new friend. I made friends with my friends from today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cool. It was man. awesome. Yeah. Hi, Sumner. If you're watching, you're amazing. Did you um, do like a double mum date? No, nah, actually, it, this is like this is a great segue to what I wanted to talk about. I today. like it. I like it. So my friend Bonnie um, and her partner James, they always go to the community markets yeah. like at um, Greylin um, Community Centre yeah. every, every Sunday. Um, and I'm a fan. I live just in the neighbourhood, and I'm a big fan of farmers markets. Anyway, yeah, they're cool, eh? Yeah. So anyway, today um, they were there, and they're like, "Yo, come up, hang out." I was like, "Cool, I'll do that." And I bought my organic produce from the people who grew it. And, yeah. Um, and I met her family there, and they're like, "Come to dinner tonight." That's why I'm a little bit late today. Ah, that's like, cool, man. We had like a um, we had like a family dinner. A dinner at like four o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Well, it's a super like, early dinner. But oh no, they've all got cute. like they've all got like children, you know. Yeah. But it made me think about farmers markets today. I was like, farmers markets are cool. And then I did a little bit of research around it, and what I like about them is the sense of community that you get from them. Yeah, the good vibes. The good vibes. You yeah. know that's our thing, bro. Oh, yeah. We're all about the good oh, vibes. Yeah. You know? I like it. So you're going to buy food that's locally produced, which means that um, you don't get the food miles. Are you familiar with food miles? No. Okay, so if in, in our day and age where global warming is one of the most important problems facing mankind, yes. we get so much food imported, you know, whereas we could produce it locally. Okay, yeah. So if you want to eat food that's more seasonal, mm. a great way to do it is to go to your farmer's market because it comes from within a certain radius. Right. Yeah, so there's some people who are really strictly, like there's restaurants overseas and stuff which only buy food that is grown or produced within 100 miles of of where you're going to consume it. That's cool. Yeah, I, and that's not necessarily the case here, but it is food that's grown by local producers to be eaten by local consumers as opposed to food that's shipped into a big international supermarket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there's none of the packaging that, that's involved in commercially it's produced food. It's au natural. Food. It's au natural, homie. I like that, man. And, and more often than not, you can meet the people who actually grow the food, so it's like a real, like, hey, man, you're giving me the energy and vitamins that are keeping me alive. Yeah. Thank you. And yeah, I'm going to give cool. you some money for that. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. it creates, like, community connectedness you know yeah it's like really nice that you know the person who grew the food that you're going to eat knowing uh, knowing where your sustenance is coming from exactly isn't that a nice idea that's a great idea yeah and like when you know people and there's that sense of community partnership and togetherness is you know greater sense of community safety and a shared value in a place and yeah I like I like that uh, when I used to live in the West uh, I'd go to yeah. the, uh, oh, you're a Westie. Yeah, boy. Me too. I uh, like that. Where did you grow up? Tatarangi. I grew up in Glen Eden. Oh yeah. I like to say Lower Tatarangi. Uh, you know, yep. put a little fancy show on it. My uh, my uh, my granddad uh, lives in, in Glen Eden. Oh, my mum lives in Glen Eden. Maybe they could be friends. Maybe they could. They they could meet at a at a farmers market. Yeah. Uh, well, that's what I was getting to is that the the Tatarangi uh, market that was on you know last Sunday of every month. Mm -hmm. I, I made friends with the the pickle lady. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. And I go up there and get my, um, uh, oh, what's the cauliflower one called? Uh, piccalilli, man. Oh, yeah, piccalilli rules. Yeah. Put it on a sandwich. Oh, so good, man. But that's, that's the thing. You make friends with the people who sell you food all yeah. the time. Like, you build relationships. Like, you know, I go to the Brudermart um, markets every Saturday. Yeah, yeah. And I normally go to the uh, Greyland markets on Sundays. So sometimes I go to Takapuna. Yeah. But there's tons all around. I really encourage people out there, like, Get out to the markets, you know, it's a great way to meet people and there's a good vibe yeah, and there's yeah, yeah. delicious foods yeah. and there's actually normally quite a lot of immigrant influence as well. There's yeah. a lot of people from all over the world come and sell wares of foods that they've made traditionally, you know. Like there's a cool Italian guy at the Greyland place. And yeah, I, I reckon you appreciate it way more because you go, there's a story behind this, where it yeah, came from, totally. that kind of stuff, you know. Sorry, I patted you on the back. Kind of hard there. I, <laughs> I have a, a couple of friends who are uh, recently driving up from Wellington to Auckland mm -hmm. and they stopped in this place called Sanson. Mm -hmm. I think it's just, it just outside of Bulls. They have a market there. But there's only like one dude who will give you FPOS cash out. Yeah, and right. it's a guy who sells bacon. Right. So basically you have to go buy a it's bacon. It's like a bacon monopoly. Get, I know, yeah. So every time someone wants cash out, they have to buy all this bacon really? as well. It's yeah. fun. Does he force so, you to buy bacon? Well, yeah, because you, he's not going to just give you cash out. You've got to buy some of his... I, got a, I, got a, I know a guy who goes to the markets and just gives cash out, but charges... Oh, yeah, like a ridiculous amount of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like every 20 bucks costs you three bucks. Wow. Uh, wow. So, I mean, it's a good business idea, but... It uh, it's a bit... Of, it's, 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 you know, it's excessive. If that is excessive. It's excessive. When you're trying to I give guess, back to the community, yeah. Yeah, it's, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it's a little bit take, but... But, you know, I guess he's got to run a company like everyone else. Yeah. He's over here. It's, 
Or we could, you know, <laughs> or you could just stop before you get to the market. Yeah, yeah, and, and then you got cash. cash. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's always a good thought uh, when you when you're heading to the farmers market. Yeah, totally. More cash. Hey, uh, let's play a music video. Azealia Banks, two and two. We'll come back and talk more good things and uh, and good times with Richie Hardcore. <laughs> two on two there, Azealia Banks. We're just saying how much we appreciate that video. Yeah, well, you were like, this song's quite um, sexually... Um, you know, somewhat sexually charged. <laughs> sexually, that's the word I'm looking for, homie. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, all power to her. I like sexually empowered women. Yeah. You know, like, it's, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I like that as well. Way to go feminism. Yeah. Forward thinking on that on that front, you know. Yeah, <laughs> Still yeah to, um, I'm actually being serious. Way to go, feminism. Mm. We've talked about feminism, haven't we? Have yeah, we uh, about that? I don't I know, know if we had a specific we've, piece, no, we've, we've but touched we've, on we've, it. we've touched on it. Maybe we should do a PMA all day on feminism. Yeah, I mean, there's so many more weeks to come. So oh, there's weeks and weeks of good news to come. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like it. It's something for you to look forward to. That <laughs> in and of itself is good news for you. Yes, um, uh, but uh, something that we're going to uh, talk about, though. I mean, uh, there's there's some sexually empowered mothers out there. Oh, there certainly are. Yeah, yeah. Some some firm feminine mothers. If you're a mother, you definitely have had sex. You know, oh. like yeah, you know definitely. about that. It's natural. It's don't natural. Say that. I don't want to talk about it, no. but. It's... <laughs> Hey, moving right along. I didn't want to talk about it with my mother. No, that's or your no, mother. no one wants to talk about that. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> we're, getting, <laughs> we're fully getting off topic. Oh man, it's oh, it's a horrible. It's, yeah. Anyway, carry on. Anyway, <laughs> so talking about mothers, I was hanging out with my mothers today. I took her, um, I took her to brunch at my favourite organic cafe, um, Kokako up yep. in Greyland. You yep. know what? They're good people. The old, uh, the old, uh, the old post office. Yeah, the old post office. Nice. You know, it's all, it's, it's my whole buzz in one little stop. It's like organic, all vegetarian, vegan. Um, heritage building. Heritage building. <laughs> yes, I didn't even think yeah. about that. God bless you. Did you hear that? He, yeah. up, he yeah. uplifted it. That yeah. was amazing. Doing it, man. Heritage level, building. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> it's amazing. Old school, man. Yeah, and, um, and they have fairly traded products. Yeah. And anyway, I was talking to my moms today, and she was like, I've got to take all this stuff to free cycle. And I never heard of free cycle, and I was like, "What's that?" I'm, I'm like, no, "I'm cool. I know what's up. <laughs> you know, I'm on TV sometimes, mum. You know, <laughs> but mum, mum dropped some knowledge on me. Yeah. And free cycle is this um, massive organization over 85 countries. It's got nearly nine million members, right? Yeah. So you have stuff that you want to get rid of. It's pretty functional. Yeah. But you don't know where to go. Go to free cycle. Okay. It's like an online community. You go and you find um, people in your neighborhood in your city and you form like a little online community yeah. and you just keep checking back and put all the stuff you want to give away because yeah. it's non-profit, you know, so there's so no just, money involved. It's just about like making sure that your stuff gets, you know, instead of thrown in the rubbish, it just goes on to yeah. something else. According to the website, over 5,000 tons of, um, of, you know, stuff, yeah. whatever that is going to be, mm -hmm. gets um, saved from getting put into a landfill every day. From the website? From the website, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, you should check it out, freecycle.org. Yeah. And then there's like, you know, there's New Zealand, there's, you know, 85 countries, like I said. So it's a really massive online community where people are, are not buying or selling, so they're just exchanging. Just it's trading. taking you back to an old sort of barter system. I love bartering, man. Yeah. I'm all about it. It's really? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's old school of you. I, I, I like it. Yeah, I, 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 I am a big fan of the barter, and I'm a big fan of the, um, the just the, con you know, just talking someone down in deals. Yeah, right. Well, this isn't even, you can just give stuff yeah. or just receive stuff. You don't even have to have an exchange. I thought it was pretty exciting because we're all moaning about, well, okay, not all of us, but bleeding heart leftists like myself are always moaning about <laughs> capitalism. We're like, capitalism sucks. Yeah. But here's like just, you know, it could be barter or it could be just, here's take this from the goodness of my heart or receive this because I've I have a need for it. Yeah, isn't that a cool? I idea? think that's cool. Yeah, I think it's it's totally uh, on the on that thing of like capitalism sucks. Instead of doing that, just going and doing something that totally offsets it. Yeah, doing totally. something practical. You know, it's yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, I think that's a you know I think a lot of people struggle with. They have this sense of there's this injustice. What do I do about it? Yeah. You know, and that that brings me to my last point. Last week we talked about fair trade fortnight. Yeah. And it is a fortnight, so that runs until the twentieth of. Uh, May. May, yeah, and I bumped into Chris from All Good Bananas. Yeah. Were you just checking them up? Yeah, yeah. It's just <laughs> yeah, me too. This, Time this flies, it's fun. I know, So man. seven more days of Fair Trade Fortnite. As we talked about, Fair Trade Fortnite is about encouraging Fair Trade products. Check mm. this out. These are dates from Palestine. That's some cool stuff. Would, would you like to eat one? I'll try one. Be careful, there's a stone in there, and I don't want you to hurt your teeth. Really? Yeah. So okay. Palestine, of course, is a... Um, Occupied territory and it's controlled by oh. the Israeli military. Would you like one, Rose? Don't mind if I do. You can mm. take two. Delicious. No, thank you. Mm, I, already I already had some of these. My mum so. loves dates. Oh, you can take of these three. 
It'd be an amazing Mother's Day. I'm sure she appreciate them. Uh, yeah, there you go, Connor's mum. What's your mum's name? Patricia. Patricia? We have dates for you from Palestine. Palestinian Patricia. Mm. PP. Mm. Anyway, it's virtual fortnight, and I bumped into Chris, um, who runs All Good Bananas today at the Community Garden. Well, Amazing how I've tied it all together. Yeah, you see I like what that. I did there? I like that. Yes, thank you. <laughs> and he was just like, I was like, yo, do you have any events that coming up this week that we can talk about? And he's like, not really. Like, you know, you can just keep you know pushing the fair trade fortnite message you could organize a coffee break which is what oxfam have yeah. and you um sign up for a pack oxfam send you out a bunch of stuff and then you invite your friends around and you just drink fair trade coffee and enjoy fair trade treats and yeah. just to promote it to people who might not have heard of it and just get amongst it yeah of course fair trade for those who don't know is it guarantees a minimum price for producers yeah like i was talking to chris today and they were talk he was talking about um when you demand super cheap products all the time, that forces prices down yeah. overseas. And it's not the supermarkets that make less money, it's generally people in third world countries that make less money, to the point where it, it costs them more money to make their goods or you know, uh, produce their products right, yeah. than it does for them to send it out. You yeah, know? yeah, so, it's just not, it's not worth it. Yeah, so pay that extra $2 for all good bananas or you know, Palestinian dates. dates or, damn good dates. Yeah, you know, or, or whatever. Or you know, make sure your coffee's fairly traded. Mm. And you know, tell your friends and tell your parents. And good pay, vibes, man. Yeah, good vibes. Good vibes. Seven days left of, uh, of Fair Trade Fortnite. Fair Trade Fortnite. <laughs> Richie, it's a pleasure. Always good to see you, brother. Thank you, man. Uh, and thank you for spreading the positive words this week. It's, it's, been, it's been a it's, treat. It's the little I can do. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> Rose Manifaux, let's play a little bit of the Arctic Monkeys. Yes, it's a good idea. And we've got a uh, new featured poll on the app. So if you want to get a head start on that, you can go <laughs> to facebook.com slash tvnzu and check it out. We love Here's polls. A tip. Yes. Yeah, we love polls. <laughs> do it. All right. Here's the Arctic Monkeys. Are you mind, Richard Hardcore? Thank you once again. Thank you, bro. Take oh, care. So good. <laughs> so good. You're listening to Jones's Jukebox.